All right, Pep Man, Matt Markham, the varsity here with Coach Gray, Rocky River High School. Uh, Coach, talk to me a little bit about yourself and your background. Well, I am uh, 44 years old this year. This year I've been 45. been coaching football for about 20 years now. Uh, mm -hmm. Started out coaching Pop Warner Ball uh, back in 1997 and uh, been had a great privilege of coaching uh, with some great Coaches and there's some great programs. Started out at Concord High School in 2000. Okay. Coached with E.Z. Smith, who was a legend in this state. Oh, yeah. Uh, for four years. Uh, I was able to coach for eight years at Canapolis, my alma mater. Uh, got to coach under uh, Ron Massey and uh, coach with Mike Newsom. Mm -hmm. uh, and for two years, I was at West Iredale with a good friend of mine, Monty Simmons, who was the head coach at West Iredale, who came from High Brighton High School. And then uh, I've been fortunate uh, to be blessed to be here at Rocky River. Uh, going on year two. All right. Uh, so uh, excited. Love football and uh, I've been coaching a while and uh, I just enjoy the game so much. And I believe that it's a vehicle to help us teach kids discipline and integrity and hard work. So uh, that's a little bit about me. Uh, I was in the military for eight years, jumped out of All airplanes. Right. Thank uh, you for your service. Yeah. Uh, so I did that from 91 to 99. Uh, married, uh, was 25 years, made 25 years this year. Oh, Lord bless. Uh, uh, to my <laughs> wife, uh, Thurshell Gray, and I have three children, uh, Desiree, Orlando, and uh, Devin. Okay. Uh, which are young adults now. So uh, that's that's who I am in a nutshell. Uh, I'm a uh, Christian. I believe in our Christian faith, and uh, I believe in following God and doing things his way. Uh, I try to my best to do that mm -hmm. here in teaching our guys how to be good people. Uh, I don't push religion on them, but I just try to be a good example for them, and hopefully my life will, will lead them in, in a direction where they will uh, have a faith in something. Uh, so uh, that's who I am, and All right. uh, Orlando Gray. All right, great. Thank you, Coach. Uh, where did you get your coaching philosophy from? Uh, it's a mixture of a, 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 of, a, some, of a couple different things. Okay. Uh, one, my father was a man's man. Mm -hmm. He always told me uh, and my brother to uh, be a man of our word. You know, if we say we're going to do something, do it. If we're going to be somewhere, be there. If we mm -hmm. can't, be accountable uh, to those that uh, we have obligated ourselves to. Okay. Uh, so I'm big on accountability in our program and uh, our kids being where they're supposed to be, doing what they've been asked to do, mm -hmm. uh, and being a, a person of their word, yeah. have a good character. Right. Uh, that's the, a big part of our philosophy because all of those things work hand in hand when it comes to weight training, football practice, our games, uh, the way we should uh, carry ourselves, sportsmanship on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are that's a big part of my philosophy. But then also, I was able to work for some great head coaches, Ron Massey, who was very organized, very stern. Uh, uh, Coach E.Z. Smith, who was a big people person. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was able to build my philosophy from them. He, uh, Coach Smith was great in the public eye. Oh, yeah. uh, he, he gets along with everybody. Uh, big, charismatic personality. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Ron Massey, the late Ron Massey, was a great organizer. Very organized, very structured. Right. So I take a lot of, from what they did, but then also I put my own personality in it. Okay. Mike Newsom, who was a, a big on enthusiasm and energy. Mm -hmm. So, again, I've had some great leaders that I've been able to work under. Uh, like I said, and then I, I, I meshed that with things that my father taught me, uh, how, how to be a man. Mm -hmm. And I try to bring that into our, our, our program and teaching our kids. And that's, that's a big part of our philosophy. That's excellent, Coach. Uh, tell me, what's the best game you've ever coached in? Oh, man, the best game I've ever coached in, uh, I would say that's tough. <laughs> I try to approach every game the same way and get the same energy. Right. Oh, uh, man, I would say 2008, mm -hmm. uh, I was at Kannapolis. We were playing Charlotte Catholic. Oh, yeah. At Charlotte Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were down with about a minute, some change left. Mm -hmm. We were down 20 to 27 to 20. Okay. And we wind up coming on. It was a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, it was cold, but our kids were in it. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Catholic had a, a, a really good team. Yep. I think, uh, uh, I'm trying to think which one of the uh, 
the brothers was there. It wasn't the fullback. It was the, the wing. What's his name? Anyway, Elijah Hood was a, I think Elijah Hood was a <laughs> sophomore. Uh-huh. He was a sophomore freshman. Anyway, man, we go down on the last drive with about 40 seconds left. We throw a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Why not win the game and get to go to the state championship? But that game was so exciting. Wow. Uh, it was ups and ebbs and flows of the game, ups and downs. Mm-hmm. But both teams fought very hard. I, w- I would say that was probably one of the most enjoyable games I've ever been a part of. Win or loss, right. I, it was a great game. So I would say that was the regional finals. No, actually it was the semifinals because okay. we went to Kings Mountain the next week mm-hmm. and won. Even though that was a great game too. Mm-hmm. That Charlotte Capital game was just – it started becoming a rivalry right. because we were right. see, we sure were seeing them year after year the playoffs mm-hmm. for about seven years in a row. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> uh, it started becoming a well. I guess it was a it wasn't much of a rivalry for them because they were winning most of the games. <laughs> so, but uh, that was a great game. Man, that's excellent. That was a great game. Uh, what are your team goals for this upcoming season? Uh, well, we established team goals back in March. Uh, okay, our first team goal is. Win game one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't think we can't get past. We can't get to our other two goals without getting that one done. Right. Uh, win game one and beating Sapphire there here at our home opener. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next is win our conference. Yeah. Uh, we in a tough conference, but we are bringing back uh, some good kids and some good talent. So we believe we can fight for our conference title. We were in most games. Oh, yeah. Not all games last year. Most definitely. Uh, and our kids had to learn a brand new offense, a brand new defense. Mm-hmm. This year they get to come back in that same offense, in that same defense, uh, with the talented senior class. And, uh, you know, so that's our goal number two. Mm-hmm. And the next goal is obviously we get in the playoffs and win state championship. Uh, am I saying we're going to win one this year? The chips have to fall where they need to fall. Right. I believe if our kids, uh, we get in the playoffs healthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get in the playoffs, uh, uh, running our stuff well. I think we have just as good a chance as any because we're great on defense yeah. and we're coming along on offense. And I believe we brought back enough skilled guys and the young offensive line, but talented enough mm-hmm. that if we get in there playing good, that we got a good chance, you know, to get there. But again, it's week after week once you get in the playoffs. Right. But those are our three goals: win game one, win our conference, state championship. All right, I like it, Coach. Uh, talk to me about some of that talent coming back, players we can look out for this year. Well, one of our big main guys, a uh, kid that I love, uh, I met him last year for the first time. He's a stud. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jalen Sharp, he's 6'2", mm-hmm. 225, 230 pounds. Uh, to me, he's a full five-star linebacker. I he just hadn't got all the recognition I think he will get after this season. I think last year he got noticed. Mm-hmm. Uh, is a great kid in the building, great grades. So I'm definitely looking for him to have a big year. Uh, James May, number five, he's a slot receiver for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, very talented wide receiver. I think he's going to have a big year. He's he's getting some offers now, some Division one offers. Yep. He's got a verbal commitment to Miami, Ohio. Okay. Uh, and I think he's excited about that, even though he's getting some other offers. I think he's going to have a great year. And uh, believe it or not, Brent Jones, our quarterback, who didn't have a a great year last year, and I tell a lot of people because he sat as a sophomore on varsity mm-hmm. behind uh, Tyshawn Carter, not gotten a lot of reps. Mm-hmm. Last year was really his sophomore year. Uh, right. I know he was a junior, but mm-hmm. most people don't look at that quarterback position. You got to get reps, yep. and he didn't. Uh, plus, he had to change offenses, so mm-hmm. he struggled some last year. But he had a great offseason. Mm-hmm. Brent's about six two, two hundred twenty pounds. He can run it and he can throw it. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm. I won't say putting people on notice, but I'm saying mm-hmm. Brent Jones is going to have an unbelievable year. And then the last guy on offense, I think is going to have a great year is uh, uh, Shamar Hayes. He's a tight okay. end. He's a quarterback converted tight ends. He has soft hands. Mm-hmm. He runs great routes. He's worked very hard in the weight room okay. uh, all year. And uh, Shamar is going to have a really good year on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, other guys on defense, I think the uh, guys to look out for, Nareek Smith. Mm-hmm. He's a corner. He's a three-year starter uh, for Zion Easterland, who's a safety. He was an all-conference safety two years in a row. Okay. Uh, he's a two-year, be a three-year starter. And Khalil Turner, mm-hmm. those guys uh, in the secondary uh, I think we're going to be very good there. And up front, one kid that I think is, can rush the pass, pass, pass it very well is Khalil Alexander. Okay. His defensive end, he's, he, he didn't play varsity last year. He didn't get here 
to halfway through the season. Mm-hmm. Uh, he would have played some varsity ball for me, but he had to learn our system. Right. This year he's going to be really good. Okay. So we're looking forward to him having a great year. All right. We're well, looking forward to seeing all those guys, Coach. Uh, last question to you, and I know we talked about this before. Uh, what's the best thing about coaching here in Charlotte? I would say uh, the best thing about coaching here is you get to see great competition week in and week out. Yeah, uh, no doubt. No. no matter what the <laughs> records are, mm-hmm. uh, there is great competition. Uh, and for for me, being able to come into a job where there's some talent in the cover, mm-hmm. uh, typically, uh, you know, first year or first time head coaches usually don't get the jobs where that are very sought after. Right. Uh, but I think my my coaching experience and where I've come from, my pedigree. Uh, afforded me the opportunity to get this job, mm-hmm. uh, which uh, I was blessed with talent, a uh, good bit of talent. So in Charlotte, everywhere you go, I believe there's talent. Even at the schools that don't have great programs, you can find talent. And so oh, yeah. week definitely. in and week out, like I preached to our kids last year, can't take anybody for granted. Uh, yeah. And so that's the great thing about being in Charlotte is a great coach, a great culture, a great competition, and the last thing I would say is this area gets recruited, so yes. it gives our kids a great opportunity. I'm talking about from Division One to One AA to NAIA schools to mm-hmm. Division Two, Division Three. There's a lot of a uh, 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 spotlight put on this city, so it gives me a great opportunity to get our kids opportunity to get a free education, exactly. not football, but mm-hmm. a free education. That's what I push and emphasize to our kids. So that's what I love about being in this city. All right, man. That's awesome, Coach. We thank you for your time. Um, you're obviously very charismatic, very energetic, and uh, you're doing some big things here at Rocky River. Well, I definitely appreciate that. I look forward to being here for years to come. Like I say, uh, when I first talked to you, I, I mm-hmm. bleed green and white, but hopefully that black and orange, I'll be here long enough for that black and orange <laughs> to mix in there with that green and white from Mel Brown. So uh-huh. uh, I thank you guys for the opportunity uh, to come and uh, interview me and uh, talk to our kids at our school. Uh, this is a great place, uh, and we look forward to being doing great things in the city. Excellent. Thank you, Coach. We You're appreciate welcome. it.